This series of videos uh, that I'll be putting together um, is for these pen boxes that I make. Um, I make a, a fair few of them and I'll make them in big quant or small quantities, about 50 boxes at a time. Now these are very popular sellers um, in the galleries and I thought I'd just share with you how I actually do these. These boxes ha have been uh, featured in the front page of the Australian Wood Review and page 60 to, it starts at page 60 to 63. Now, <clears throat> before I start, I'd just like to talk a bit about the box. They're fairly straightforward, um, very, very straightforward to make. They require, it requires about a, you know, less than half a super foot of timber to make each box. They're designed to carry a letter opener and a pen. You could change the design yourself to either two pens or a single big pen or you know even not put any rest in there and, and just make it a, a nice box. Um, very oriental in design particularly because uh, emphasized by the handle very oriental very Japanese style. Um, I sort of like was influenced by Frank Ward Wright during architecture school and my pieces now are more oriental, more looking at Japanese and Chinese traditional architecture and the stuff, you know, more the later stuff that Frank Lord Wright did, you know, the great American architect. Um, before I, before I, we, we get into the cutting, um, when I make the boxes, I really emphasize keeping your, um, your, your box sides so that they match. Um, that's very, very important with the galleries. Again, it carries on with, you know, when we make pens, we, we try to align the grain, and same with boxes. Now, there's two ways that you can go about it. Uh, with this piece of hewn, uh, the grain matches up perfectly. So you can, you can see the grain pattern running around. Um, and this one, because it's been book matched, it actually comes in, so the grain starts at this point and then wraps around and then joins at the other side whereas this tiger myrtle it's a little bit different the grains was cut from one long piece board one 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 board so that the grain follows through and then doesn't really line up in this corner so it basically goes around that way and then stops because it was cut from one continuous piece of uh, tiger myrtle all right, so we first start off by roughing out all the pieces, uh, just rough sawing the pieces. 